So, ye ko MPP Emenyeko ni Director of Communication Edema Emenyeko no ye Richard Ahiaba. Na or the two just say COVID-19 by no I I had dream papa 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 papa. Na e by no a man near ma and she da en en ko ye. Na sana COVID-19 no e ba na che say near ma e ko so e wo man ganem ne near ma e ko ye. Internet COVID-19 aba na near ma she da en ko ye en fa mo man na. Ghana, Yenya Abutre, Enfa, Emma, Abaino, Nabano, NT, Enai, Urunyam for Richard, Ayaba, Ekasel, C, Enochirim. That is the question on every Ghanaian's mind that COVID has brought us here. How do we get out of it? And that's what this government is doing. And that's the invitation we say extend to the NDC. Let them bring their solution on how we get out of here so we can interrogate it. So, government has introduced uh, several programs um, to help. Uh, dig Ghana out of the, uh, the doldrums we find ourselves in. A typical one I talked to you about, which underpins the IMF program that we're having now, is the post-COVID-19 program for economic growth. Uh, you saw in the budget is captioned PCPEG to, among other things, drive Ghana's uh, fiscal, macro-fiscal path to get on a sustainable level, to restore our debt to sustainable level, and ensure the achievement of macroeconomic stability um, in the shortest possible time. The PCPEG will address the economic challenges of the country through fiscal consolidation, debt treatment, and structural reform. The government, through the central bank, has responded with a raft of monetary policy measures, including the biweekly FX forex auction, the BDC's for, uh, forex auction, which has helped subdue the pressure on the uh, sport forex market. To complement the monetary policies which have been activated, the government has subsequently announced expenditure-led measures, including a 30% cut um, to discretionary expenditure, a moratorium on new creation of government units, a freeze on government travels, a 30% 30, a 30 cut to salaries um, of the executive political appointees among others. And ladies and gentlemen, the implementation of the gold for oil is also a critical piece in the effort to, um, to, risk, to give some stability to the city. So implement, implementation of the COVID-19 alleviation revitalization of enterprise support program, which is the Ghana Cares um, prog uh, programs to inject about 100 billion into the economy. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I think we've taken a bit of time. I would, I would support, I would give you the full data here. I guess you are beginning to see is that the story is there to tell. The evidence is there to find that this government has not mismanaged. The NDC is misleading Ghanaians. If anything, the NDC doesn't have an alternative. NDC is not trying to find any solutions to the problem except to promote its interest in seeking political power. So in conclusion, through this, uh, the innovative measures that you will reference in the statement I will give you, the government is demonstrating its resolve to build back this economy quicker and faster and restore fiscal rectitude in the shortest possible time.